Doug, what what'd you say to Nick um, on the sidelines there after after it was over? I just told him I was so proud of him. Um, and uh, the way he played tonight, the way he's played the last couple of weeks, the last month, and uh, couldn't be happier for him. Just told him that I was proud of him. I loved him. What was his What was his demeanor like? I mean, throughout tonight and then afterwards. I mean, you like know, all week, all week he's been calm. He's been confident. He's, uh, um, you know, he, he's he's been energetic. I mean, he's he's everything we we knew he was. And uh, you know. Um, He's been that way now for two weeks, and it's uh, shown on the field. Coach, you're down seven early, and then 38 straight points. Just talk about the way you guys changed the momentum after their opening drive and just kind of carrying it through. You know, these football games, uh, you just have to weather the storm early uh, in the game. There's a lot of emotion going on both sides, obviously, and um, you know, credit Minnesota for going down, opening drive, and, and scoring, and and then um, you know, uh, to get the uh, the interception, to get a touchdown. I mean, just to to kind of get ourselves back into the game. Uh, just got to kind of settle down, and and you know once you ride that wave uh, of emotion, uh, it just becomes football after that. And um, we knew talking even on the sidelines that we had to kind of stop their run just a little bit, and uh, and then we had to stick with the run offensively and and uh, made made plays as the game went on. Doug, nobody knows how you feel emotionally when that game is finally over and you're going to the Super Bowl. Can you relate to everybody? I mean. I mean, it's 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 kind of surreal, you know. Um, it's it's. Uh, I love coaching this football team. I love coaching those players in there. Uh, we, we, you know, um, it, it's uh, it's a tremendous feeling. Uh, quite honestly, I mean, it just really hasn't sunk in. I mean, it's uh, uh, you know, and, and the thing is about this team is, you know, all the adversity and, and, the, and the 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 know negativity or whatever that surrounds the team these guys don't listen to that and, and I don't listen to that and, and they come to work and practice hard every day and, and uh, they love being they love being uh, you know around each other and you know and that was part of you know two years ago when I came was 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 having that type of culture in the building where, where people enjoyed coming coming to work and and our players and coaches really enjoy that and they love being around each other and you know we've got two weeks now to, uh, to, to build again and, and uh, you know Obviously, this is one of our goals, um, you know, to be the, the NFC, the you know the you know the NFC uh, champion, and then and then represent uh, represent the uh, the NFC in the Super Bowl. So we got we got our work cut out for us, um, and just so excited for the guys. Robinson's interception. Did you get a sense that more settled down at that point? Did that help you settle down and get that good six? It, it definitely. When you can get a pick six like that, you get yourself back into the game. Uh, yeah, guys. Guys began to kind of feed off of that, feed off the crowd. What a tremendous crowd today! Fans were were, were, were um, excited, electric. I don't think they uh, sat down the whole game. So plays like that, the fans uh, really got us back in the game. So you got the number one defense, the top third down defense. How were you able to do what you did offensively? You know, it's just it's just execution. Um, you know, trusting the players, putting them in great situations. We sort of, you know. We, we talked all week about staying ahead on first and second down. We gave ourselves a chance on third down. We stayed in those third and manageable situations. And, you know, Nick did a great job, eyes down the field. Protection was good. Um, guys made plays. I mean, bottom line, guys made plays. And that's the only way you can get the job done is um, to be able to you know, throw and catch and, and do the things in the run game that we did. And uh, hats off to the, to the offensive staff, obviously, Frank Reich and, and the game planning and, and um, you know, the guys for executing. Well, Doug, you got a big uh, – uh, play on the on the flea flicker, and to my uh, to my recollection, I can't recall any other gadget plays throughout the course of the season. Were you kind of saving that for a big playoff moment? <laughs> no, wasn't saving it. Um, you know, listen, it's uh, those those plays. You know, you just don't you just don't uh, like grasping at straws or out of thin air. You just don't pull them out and say, "Oh, I think I'm going to run it this week." There's got to be a reason for running a gadget play and. And I just felt as I game, as I game plan this week and, and studied our formations and some of the things that we did, felt like we'd get a, we'd get an opportunity to at least attempt the play. Um, great execution, uh, protection was there. Nick did a great job of sort of stepping up and sliding right, and then uh, what a what a finish, what a catch by Tory and right in the corner, front corner of the end zone, and uh, um, it's great when they work. When you consider the journey you took, I mean, it's not what you envisioned, obviously, but you lose player after player, you lose your quarterback. 
get to this point as a conference champion, how special is this because of the journey you took? I think that's what it makes it more special, you know, with these guys. And, you know, when we started way back in OTAs, you know, you kind of know or knew you, you might have a, might have a, at least a good team, you know, uh, could compete for the NFC East. And um, as the season goes, you start losing some of your top players to injury. And, you know, you just kind of see the, the fight in the guys and they keep, you know, the resiliency in the guys. And, um, and then you lose another player a couple weeks later, and it just then you you know, you know obviously you lose your quarterback here at the end, and um, the guys just keep keep battling, you know, and and, and for us to um, you know believe in one another and, and to be now in this spot, uh, I'm just so happy for those guys, and, and uh, um, hats off to them. Doug, you're a to that you said all the right things obviously during the past few weeks, but after Carson's injury, what made you think the team could get to this point? Just believe in the guys. Have faith in the guys. I mean, it's you know our season wasn't over. You know, we still had, still were in the driver's seat. You know, we had to I think win one or two games at the end of the year to, to at least have home field and at least have a, a home bye. You know, that first round and um, I just just felt confident. You know, confident in the players and 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 the coaches and uh, that we were going to get. We were still a good football team. You know. Um, and I talk to the team all the time. It's not about one guy. You know, one guy can make a difference for you, but it takes a whole team, you know, to, to make it happen. And that's what our guys have done. Doug, you got a real big contributions from two backup defensive ends and a nickel corner, and it seemed to change the game. Do you think your defense's depth and ability has been kind of underappreciated outside of your building this year? Um, I, I think so. Um, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's a, it's a great to me. It's a, it's a it's a great defense. One of the best, if not the top defenses in the in the league, and um, they proved it again tonight. Um, you know, and, and um, sometimes they don't get enough credit. But you know what? Um, those guys in that dressing room, you know, they, they know, they understand. We know as coaches, and, and uh, um, you know, hats off to Jim Schwartz too for for the schemes and the, uh, you know the plays and the defenses and everything that he puts together and, um, but yeah it's uh, it's a great group probably not getting enough credit regarding Nick given your your career um, as a quarterback did you have a special appreciation for for what it takes to do what what he's done um, come off the bench um, kind of block out the noise and, and whatever labels get stuck to a quarterback and, and kind of get to that moment my hats off to Nick you know um, Trusting in his uh, ability, um, trusting in me as, as the head coach, and, and, and putting him in, you know, ideal situations and, and play, you know, the situations to be successful on the field, and and then for the guys, the guys to believe in him, you know, he, he listen, he's not a he's not a rookie, um, he's a veteran player who's played a lot of games in this league. He started a lot of games. He had a, a Pro Bowl year just a couple years ago. So this is not a this is not a rookie we're talking about, and um, you know. Um, just so happy for him, you know, and, and what he's what he's been through, and, and everything now to to finally put him, not only himself but uh, help this football team get to where we want to go, and, and hopefully finish the year right. Two more plays, two more. Doug, when you got the ball at the end of the first half, I'm sure there's a lot of people said, "Oh, they're just going to kneel on it." It's not your style. <laughs> it's not your style. Okay. We had time and timeouts, and and um, you know, I, I just. I told myself before the game I was going to I was going to maintain the aggressiveness in this ball game. Listen, it was a you know you win you can, you keep playing. If you lose you're you're going home. And I, di I didn't want to I didn't want to go home and, and you know regret any decision. So um, we put a drive together. Frank uh, Frank did a great job of, of orchestrating the drive at that point, and, and and he and I collaborating on that drive. And a uh, great way to finish finish with three points, and then and then come out with the ball in the second half. So you got a lot from after the aggressiveness. Do you feel your team feed off of that? Do you feel them kind of take your persona in that matter? I think they do. You know, I hope they do um, because I got a lot of trust in them, and I think they got trust in me that I'm gonna I'm gonna make the right decision. You know, and and, and you know ultimately it comes down to the players on the field. But um, I do believe that they they feel that, and uh, um, as long as I'm doing it, you know, um, and I'm doing it, the decision is right by them. Not putting them in a bad situation, then, then yeah, I think they feed on it and they, they start believing that. In the locker room after the on field celebration, what was the message to the team? We're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> we are going to the Stinking Super Bowl, and, and that's all we need to know. And uh, 
Um, I was just so proud of them for, for the season so far. Um, we still have uh, some unfinished business, obviously, but uh, uh, we're going to pack our bags and head to Minneapolis.